it started by making stuff for myself, making stuff for my own apartment in Oliver, and really putting what I valued in design into actual objects that I was making. The other thing that we were talking about before um, in your line of work is um, it was important for you to position yourselves as not like part-time crafters, mm -hmm. but actual. So th tell me about the decision around how to make sure that your brand was not, well, this would be nice. This is something I do on the side, but mm -hmm. this is like a real thing. Um, well, just portraying yourself larger than you actually are in reality, just yeah. <laughs> by creating, and again, website is such a simple way to make yourself look like you are this international company that is doing projects or selling stuff all over the world. If you are online saying, hey, we ship across the world, well, the reality is that you do, whether orders come in or not is a different story, <laughs> but it gives you a lot of credibility, like, oh, wow, this is not just someone that goes to the farmer's market and is making stuff in their garage or basement, uh, even though that might be the reality of what you're doing, but portray yourself in a way that you want to actually be. So we wanted to work towards certain goals, and we didn't want to be just pigeonholed as a little shop in a garage. So created a brand name, created a place to sell our stuff internationally, and go from there.